Corporal Beast are doing another install today. Today we're doing this 2010 Toyota Corolla. We're doing a radio replacement. Installing a Pioneer radio that has Bluetooth, aux, and USB. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the factory radio, install the new radio, how to wire everything up, and give it a test. Now the first segment here, we're going to show you what you'll need. Wire strippers, a crimper, Phillips screwdriver, panel removal tool, and something with a 10 millimeter socket. First things first, the radio that we will be using, go ahead and check the link in the description or on the video here. Um, you'll be able to see the unboxing, what all comes with it. But one of the main wiring harnesses that it does come with is this guy here. Now the two additional parts besides your radio you're gonna need is the dash kit and wiring harness. Wiring harness that we're using, it being the non-amplified Toyota version, it's the Metra 70-1761. This plugs into the factory harness, so there's no cutting needed. We're going to match colors up here from the Pioneer side and the adapter side using crimp caps and our crimp tool. Besides the wiring harness, we're going to need a dash kit. The dash kit today we're using for this vehicle is the Metra 99-8223 for single or double DIN radio. So first thing here, we're gonna go ahead and strip both ends. This end comes pre-stripped, which is nice. Once we do so, we're gonna go ahead and crimp matching colors together and get everything prepped with the dash kit and the new radio. All right, so I went ahead and wired this up. So strip both ends. As you can see with these barrel connectors, just put a crimp in them with the crimper tool. Now, we didn't use the orange and white wire, which is the dimmer wire. This Pioneer did not support it, so we just taped that off. Um, everything else was just matching colors. Now you'll notice that there may be a solid blue wire, and this radio also didn't support the solid blue wire. It's the, basically the Intown and Power wire. What we did is we just tied it into the blue and white. You can also tie it into the red. Just twist them together and tie it into the red. And totally up to you. Everything else is just matching up colors. Okay, so we will be using the can with this kit. Um, put the kit together exactly as just the instructions suggest. Uh, this time though, we're actually using the can. It came with the radio and that just clips in and you bend the tabs back. And then our radio slides right into that. And then once it's in the car, then our faceplate will just clip right on in. All right, here we are now in the car. We have our factory radio. Make sure you pop the CDs out before we actually dive into it. Uh, first things first, these side rails pop out so we can grant access around this bottom portion so we can take out these lower control panels. These upper vents come out as well, which gain access around these side panels and so we can get into the, uh, the actual bolts holding the radio in. Okay, so just using a panel tool, I've worked my way down along the side, also on the back side of the panel as well, and worked this piece loose. As you can see, there's quite a few little teeny clips along as you release it on this side. I'm going to do the same on this side as well. All right, next thing here, remove these two Phillips screws. And just kind of get behind and just pop our little pocket loose here. Can see that just take your time and we're going to remove this up and over now there's this shift lock override you can actually push that little button in that's underneath this little cover and the shifter will come back without putting the key in okay so i've pulled the shifter just barely back here this can now come free up and over now next thing here we're going to remove the top portion and these two side panels also have to come. Okay, I've worked these two side portions off. Same thing for just four clips. Now with this top vent, you can just kind of grab hold of it and pull it on out. And just set it up above just like that. This is just held on with clips as well. Now as you notice, there's two 10, millim 10 millimeter bolts on both sides. Go ahead and remove that and the radio will come free and again okay remove those two 10 millimeters on both sides i'd use an extension for those really far back ones 
And here we go. I'm gonna give it a tug, just like that. Now you'll unplug the harnesses there in the back and the antenna. All right, with the radio out there, we went ahead and plugged in our wiring harness adapter that we wired up in the garage. Plugs right in. These other two harnesses, if you have them, won't be used. And then our Motorola connection for our antenna will just plug directly back into the back of the radio. Now, depending if you guys have the a Bluetooth radio, some, some of them come with mics and this one certainly does. So what I've done is I've just clipped it right there and just tucked the wire down here. What I'm gonna do is continue this down along the door seal and come out here. Then we're gonna go up underneath, up into the stereo cavity. Okay, so I've tucked it just down, all the way down here, the cable, up underneath. Now you can either zip tie it up above, underneath the, the, the panel itself, or you can tuck it way deep underneath the carpet by just pulling this back. Totally up to you. I worked my way right out to here. Now, if you can't necessarily see through and pull it through by hand, you may want to use something to fish the wire up through. And we're gonna work our way up to the dash cavity. Right, got everything hooked up. There's the Bluetooth mic, the antenna, and the main wiring harness. And we're just gonna fold that back and put that right in. All right, before we put the trim panel, or the trim piece around our new radio, as you can see, we got the four bolts in, and the radio's all in and secured. You gotta remove off these little pegs here, on both sides, clips, and put them on our new kit. Don't forget to do that. All right, got that face on, got it all clipped in, tighten down both 10 millimeter bolts, pop the top back in, and I'm now working on getting the uh, side panels put back on. We'll reassemble the bottom in reverse order, that's the way we took it apart, and we'll do a final test. All right, so all the pieces are all back together here. Let's do a quick test. Sounds good. If you have any questions about this install, be sure to just post a comment below. Thanks for watching the channel, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.